Hey guys, today I am making uh, something very seasonal because sweet corn is right now in season. I went to get some veg uh, this morning and uh, it's grown here locally as well, which is great. It's super soft and sweet um, and really, really um, juicy right now. So I'm going to make something I have not made before, which is a sweet corn curry. Um, and it's inspired by a Gujarati curry. It's not the exact same recipe, but it's inspired by that. Uh, so let's get cooking. So first of all, I, oops. Firstly, I am going to just uh, roughly chop two onions. So a nice hot pan and uh, two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a teaspoon of black mustard seeds. Just let it pop and sizzle. And next, I'm going to add these chopped up onions. And then the key is to cook them for around 8 to 10 minutes until they are nice and lovely and golden. And while the onions are cooking away nicely, I'm just going to chop up three of these garlic cloves. And once this is beautifully golden, I'm going to add the chopped up garlic and cook for another couple of minutes. Next, I'm going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes. I will go for four. Um, and what I'm going to do is cover this and cook this on low heat for 10 minutes just so that all of this comes together. So the next step are the spices. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of ground coriander, teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. And now to mix it all up, it's looking lovely, gorgeous. Time to add our star ingredient. I have got here two beautiful looking corn on the cob and I'm just going to Now because this corn is in season, it's really nice, fresh and soft and it will just chop off quite easily. So all I'm going to do is get this off the corn, off the cob with the sharp knife to <laughs> make it go everywhere. Right, so now it's time to add this lovely corn to the masala. So all of this goes into the masala. And I would like to say this is kind of just over a cup of corn. I'm just going to let this cook for two to three minutes while I prepare the peanuts. Got a nice hot pan and I've got 60 grams of peanuts in here and I'm just going to for a minute or two dry roast this until they are golden and you can see that they are nicely, um, have got a nice color. Um, for me I think it's quite important to get a nice roasted peanuts because I think the raw peanuts just don't taste very nice and they can actually spoil the dish instead of making it better. So that you can see has got a little bit of color. It's smoking hot. I can smell that they are toasted. So I'm going to get these out into a pestle and mortar and crush them. A 
Okay, so now a few things to add to this. This has been cooking for five minutes. I'm gonna add the roasted crushed peanuts. Also going to add some water. So around 150 ml of water. Give it a good mix. Just gonna add another 50 ml. So that's a total of 200 ml of water. Now, quite important is I'm gonna turn the gas off. So now the hob is off. I've turned the heat off. And once it's turned off, I'm gonna add some yogurt, natural yogurt to this. So a good four heaped tablespoon of yogurt, stir, stir, stir. The reason for turning the hob off is so that it stops, uh, prevents it from splitting. And once you have stirred that in, that's when we can turn the hob back on. On very low heat, I'm going to cover and cook this for 10 to 15 minutes on really low heat till our corn is done. So 15 minutes later, this is looking lovely. Uh, it smells incredible uh, and it's quite a refreshing um, curry. I'm just going to give it a good mix and then going to plate this up now. And just to finish, of course, I'm going to add a good ton of um, coriander, fresh coriander. And that is a lovely. And that's it. That is your sweet corn curry ready. And I am going to serve this with some uh, piping hot onion pulao. You can find that recipe on the channel. Uh, but you can serve this with chapati or naan, um, whatever you fancy. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment and I will see you very soon with another new recipe. Um, that's it. Oh no, I haven't tasted it. Oh my God. That would have been disastrous. Sia, yeah, you didn't even remind me. Oh God. No, I was going, no, I totally forgot. How could I not try it for you guys? I have to tell you exactly how it tastes. Right. It's hot. Mmm. That's beautiful. It's such an unusual curry. It's not something mm, you would make very often. If you can't find fresh sweet corn, I don't know where you're watching from, which part of the world, you can use frozen. It will still be amazing. Um, but if you can find fresh, then use fresh. Mm. So, it's so lovely. So lovely. If you want extra heat, you can add some green chilies when you add the onions. But for me, it's perfect. Right. Now, bye for now. I'll see you again very soon. Mm. I'm not really hungry, so I won't have too much. I'll have that one. No, that's mine. I'll have that one. Excellent. Oh, my God.